A little cattle in the cane for you folks. I'm trying to keep this guitar in both cameras. So I gotta be careful how I move here. And I figure we just get right into this thing since it's been delayed so long already. Um, Steve, I apologize for that and uh, a couple other people I can't remember that requested this but Steve is the one I remember mainly so anyway there is you a slow version of it now I'll do it again even slower than that and we'll do it in segments like we always do and you can uh, pause the video in between the segment segments and look back uh, go back and replay it so I'll break it up for you now and then after I go through the segments we will uh, dissect it and I'll tell you more about what's happening so here we go slow. That's just an A major. You see the nut there, so I'm just playing an A major. You see the right hand. basically repeats that this is a little different minor here. Like I say, we'll talk about this more in a few minutes. So that's Sutton triplet there and I'll explain that better too. So there it is broken up into segments for those of you that uh, quicker picker uppers <laughs> if you want to call it that. There's just some segments now. Um, trying to see what about looks like uh, around five minutes into it. I'm trying to keep this short because like I say it's way behind. I've been way behind on everything so hopefully we'll get this caught up just a little bit. So now to break it up into uh, segments and talk about it. Like I say, this is an, just an A major chord. So you're starting strumming down from the fifth string down in that A major. And then you're going to do a slide here. right hand I would suggest you just develop your own uh, habits on how you want to pick that I, uh, some parts of that I'm playing and picking up on the down beat now you don't have to do that like I say just develop what works for you
and then do it again. Now this is Rice, uh, Tony Rice is uh, the way he does that. Let's see, let me get back into it. This part. Now I don't know why Tony pulls this off and then reaches clear down here with these pinkies to the fifth fret. You can get the same effect, same notes. down here on that second string I don't know why but uh, you can I just showed you both ways to do it so you can pick whichever is easiest for you or if you just want to do it like rice and learn that and then the other way so it starts uh, over on the first part this is part A still throw the thing in here that's just something I came up with I think it sounds pretty cool so let me do it again okay I'll try to do it slower A major. And that's just another thing I came up with. Uh, two pull offs. So that brings us to part B. Uh, part B, the tune goes from A major into A minor. Now here's something a lot of people doesn't know. You can get an A minor right here. Uh, a lot of people you see get an A chord like this. You can also bar the first and second strings at the fifth fret for an A major. It's more like a power chord. Uh, but if you bring your pinky up there on that third string, fifth fret, it makes this A uh, major become an A minor and a lot of people didn't know that I didn't know it myself I seen T Tony doing it and I thought what how's he getting an A minor out of that but there it is it's part of this A minor you can see that anyways part B of the tune starts with this A minor it goes into A minor there and then back to the A minor as we know it here so it's that again and it does the A minor again First part of part B. Here's the second part of part B. And this is uh, something I made up again. That just brings you into your C major. I'm just not using my ring finger there. I'm using my pinky. So it's. this okay let me let me do that one more time for you slow Now, the 
to start at the beginning of the tune once more and I'll point out some other things. Uh, like I say, this is partly Tony Rice stuff and partly my stuff and uh, partly stuff I've just picked up, heard someone do along the way and uh, I didn't know this tune and still Steve, until Steve requested it and I learned it about a month ago and it's just been so hectic here every damn day, all day and night. I guess that's why they call it the house that never sleeps. <laughs> But anyways, uh, th this is no one's version in particular. It's probably more of my own stuff than it is anyone else's. But it's got a little bit of Tony Wright stuff in it, as I showed you. So, uh, okay, let me go through it one more time slow. And we'll talk about some things that may need spoken of. <laughs> uh, there, uh, you have to develop your own right hand there, you know. picking up on the downbeat in some of that. So uh, you just figure what's best for you. The notes are so moving on here's what Tony does Like I say, you could play an open note there. It's the same notes. Tony does it like this. Playing the open note in place of that. It's the very same effect. I don't know why Tony does that, but uh, I learned it that way, I guess just because he does. And then it plays that part, uh, second part of part A. Here's my part. That's just, uh, I think that little, uh, triplet sounds kind of cool when they're up to speed. get it. Which brings us to part B of the tune. There again, it goes into A minor. And this may be a, an A minor position you're not familiar with, but... Just uh, repeating that, it's speed is kind of tricky. I guess you could pick it, but it's easier for me just to sweep up on three, four, and five in the C position. So it's... That's just... Brian Sutton uh, stuck in there is really very hard to get that uh, up to speed. Yes, see. Uh, I got 
that we warmed up to do it. <laughs> You get the idea. It sounds pretty cool when if you can get it up to speed. So that's pretty much a, a very brief, quick, dirty lesson on uh, cattle in the cane. And there you have it, folks. Uh, cattle in the cane. Uh, real quick and dirty lesson, and I apologize for that. I apologize for the fan noise and the street noise out on the street. You got the windows all open. It's uh, humidity finally dropped. Uh, we've had humidity up in the 80% and higher than that. Temperatures in the 90s. And it's just been <laughs> it's unbelievably hot. Uh, but today the, the humidity's dropped a little bit. It's actually at 68 percent right now, which is uh, a bit high for guitars. Don't like that. So, uh, anyways, I apologize for the fan noise. It was uh, nice enough outside today. With finally, no rain to open up all the windows and uh, just let the cool breeze blow through the house. It never sleeps. And never sleeps is an understatement, <laughs> which is another reason this video is so uh, long coming. I uh, got some repair work. I've had a lot of repair work. I haven't even had time to video it. Uh, but I have a couple I do want to video. I promised uh, a couple of people videos. Uh, of repair work that you know they were interested in seeing so have some the next video in fact I'm going to uh, work on the mandolin now, I've had here for a while now and um, just a basic setup on the mandolin you know and uh, I think the guy already put new strings on it I'll have to check with him and make sure but um, I have some other things I'm going to replace the saddle on it I'll show you what the mandolin sounds like with the original saddle and uh, what, what it uh, sounds like with the new saddle. I had a, a saddle made uh, from a fine gentleman uh, from Rosa String Works. And uh, I'm not going to uh, plug him in this video because uh, he, he made the saddle for me for this mandolin I'm going to set up. And I want to give him a plug in that channel. So uh, Jerry, hang in there, man. It's coming. Uh, I'm digging out. I'm finally catching up a little bit. So the ne anyway, the next video is going to be that. It's going to be that that setup job on that mandolin, and um, uh, give Jerry a plug on that video, and probably some guitar lessons. A lot more guitar lessons uh, instead of so much vlog crap that I've been just putting up to have something to put up, letting you know where I stand. Got all the moving done almost. There's maybe just a load of clothes something like that and we'll finally be finished and, and it, in case you can't tell you know I am worn to the bone man I am worn out we are all worn out but we finally got that horrendous job completed um, like I say except for maybe one load of laundry or you know just little minor things and, and that'll be done hopefully That'll be over and we can get the uh, channel here back on track, get videos rolling. I'd like to do a lot more videos than I have been doing. I, there just hasn't been any time for it. But uh, hopefully that's all going to change. There'll be a whole lot more guitar lessons coming up, uh, more in-depth lessons. And I've had a lot of requests on Facebook for more repair work videos. So I'm going to start with that mandolin because I need to get that thing fixed and back to the guy. I've had it, it was slow getting here, and 
you know, it's, it's been here quite a while now and with the moving and everything going on, just didn't have time to do the, the mandolin, you know. Uh, I, more on that later. Anyways, uh, that's what's coming up on the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed or got some benefit from uh, Cattle in the Cane here. Uh, that's another Dirk, Dirk, uh, Dirk, Dirty and Quick lesson. Um, it's no doubt more for the advanced pickers because you know beginners to intermediate could probably tackle that tune, Cattle in the Cane. Headphone lovers are going to love this traffic outside. I had to open the windows, folks. It's, it's just every day with air conditioning got old. I mean, it was nice, but it was nice if he had to go outside. Anyways, I'm rambling. I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you for being patient. Thank you for uh, hanging in there and waiting for all the crap to get done so we can get the channel back in order and get videos rolling again. Thanks to the new subscribers, the old subscribers. Uh, my YouTube numbers are shot to shit. I'm going to unpartner with Freedom and go back to YouTube or maybe try another network. That's all other videos. And I'll tell you why in those. But um, <laughs> don't pay any attention to any numbers that you see on this channel because they are all screwed up. And they have been since March. Maybe if I repartner with another network or repartner back up with YouTube, I don't know if they'll fix yourself or not. I have some videos that have like, I don't know, 300 thumbs up and 80 views. You know, there's no way that can be right, baby. <laughs> I don't know. When I switched to Freedom, all that crap just went haywire. And the numbers I get in analytics are completely different from the numbers that you and I see on the videos, you know, in the public viewing areas. Anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks all you guys for being so patient, hanging in there. And I'll see you on the next video, and hopefully it's going to be soon. Mandolin Repair, coming up next. I'll see you then. Take care. Well, check it out, man. Check it out, Mary. Ripping down the rain again. Blowing. Ugh. Crazy weather, man. Crazy ass weather. It's raining lightly now compared to what it was. I missed it. Oh, well flooded out everywhere. Let it go.